Welcome back to the kitchen table. Today on the kitchen table, uh, a few people have been raising questions regarding the Phantom 4 Pro and video range issues, which we will have a quick look at. But before we do that, as tradition on the kitchen table, it's the drink of the day. And today is the wonderful Cadbury's hot chocolate, the very last of the Christmas Cadbury's hot chocolate. Um, we're not allowed Cadbury's hot chocolate throughout the year, just as a Christmas treat. So this is the very last portion of the Cadbury's hot chocolate that we have in existence in this house before Christmas comes again. Cheers. Well, that's hot. So the Phantom 4 Pro DJI is brand new UAV. And a few questions have been raised regarding video range issues. Some people have been a little bit unhappy when comparing it to the Phantom 3 Pro as to the quality of the range they get from it. Go too far away and the video breaks up. So what could possibly be wrong? Well, DJI states that the Phantom 4 Pro is able to travel seven kilometers or four miles with uninterrupted 720 video downlink. Now obviously here in the UK where we're based, it does mean that you'll never ever legally be able to go that sort of distance. But some people have been reporting going within the UK guidelines of distance and the video not being particularly good. So let's have a, a quick explanation about video bands first and then a way how to cure the video to make it look better. So the Phantom 4 Pro has two options for video banding, 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz. 2.4 is better to use when you have a cleaner area. You don't have dirty air. Now, what do I mean by dirty air? Well, obviously now everybody has Wi-Fi. There is just generally lots of noise and, and lots of congestion within the air. So 2.4 is better when you have a more re remote location. So it just basically means when there's less people around with Wi-Fi, 2.4 is your better option. However, 5.8 is, if you like, it's a, it's a wider width of band. It's a wider band so that there is more space to get your signal out there. So if you've got a congested area, uh, like on the edge of a town, and you are flying, you may find that 5.8 is better for you. However, there is also, as usual, a downfall to 2.4 if you're in the wide open country and it's very very quiet you're flying over a field um, quality is a little bit worse using 2.4 gigahertz with the 720 download if you in, in encounter a problem on 2.4 you'll notice very similar to youtube actually the quality will just drop so instead of watching a 720 um, video it'll go down to 360 this is very common with 2.4 gigahertz because if it doesn't like something, it will just reduce the quality, reduce the bandwidth, and so the stream will drop. Um, however, this can be resolved. Um, again, it's one of these things that we don't get told a lot with bio manufacturers as to what's happening when we fire up the app and it talks to the bird. So on the Go app 4, you have two settings one for 2.4 gigahertz and one for 5.8 gigahertz it's within the image settings and there is an auto switch and then there is the switch to either go to 2.4 or 5.8 in the custom menu now one would assume that when you stick auto on it would find the best of either 2.4 or 5.8 however this is not the case what it does is it will find the best frequency to use when you fire everything up and it gets its GPS spot and then it will stay on that frequency. So for example, if you fire up and it sees some noise, what will happen, it will go to 5.8 gigahertz. However, it then won't change from 5.8 gigahertz to 2.4, it will stay on 5.8 and that sometimes is why you get a breakup in the stream. So what you need to do if you are flying in a far less congested area is go onto your image settings 
and click customer and then manually choose between 2.4 or 5.8 don't assume that the auto will change for you it won't all that will do was actually change the channel you are on on those relative frequencies so if you fire your bird up and it sees 5.8 it will stay on 5.8 and then change the channel accordingly however if you fire your bird up and it chooses 2.4 as the better frequency then it will stay on 2.4 gigahertz and just move the channel within its normal parameters it will not change frequencies so it's probably best that you actually come off auto stick it on manual and then choose 2.4 or 5.8 depending on the area you're going to fly so more congested area on the edge of a housing estate let's say with 5.8 it's going to be better for you because of everybody's wi-fi however out in the country nice big open field 2.4 is better for you you will find that you get a better downlink of your stream also one other tip that we found um, when flying the Phantom 3 Pro this tended to be the way that you would have the antenna on the back of the controller up into the air um, not pointing out it tended to work quite well however with the Phantom 4 Pro if you just kick those back a bit you'll actually find that your video stream is slightly better so don't have them upright like we used to with the Phantom 3 Pro kicking them back you'll find that the range is slightly better and you will maintain a better video feed with the Phantom 4 Pro. Like I say, just a quick update today. Uh, what are your thoughts on this? Can you tell us whether it works for you? Have you had problems in the range? Comments just down below. Let us know if this has been of benefit to you. I've been Barry. Thanks very much indeed for watching The Kitchen Table. We'll be back on The Kitchen Table again soon with another video on improving your UAV flying. Thanks for watching.